But when it comes to like the, the playable cards that you can put in your deck, uh, Liban is honestly even better than I thought he would be. So one mechanic that I that I hadn't really given much thought to is that in general, right, whoever ends their turn first will go first on the next round. And going first is very valuable. Um, which means that not using up all of your dice uh, and, and using your dice for fast actions rather than combat actions, like Liban, means that you run out of dice faster than your opponent, which means that you end turn before your opponent, which means you go first the next round. And with Liban, you can choose when that happens. Um, there's also some value in going second, because if you have a bunch of dice left, uh, when the enemy ends their turn, then you can do a lot of actions in a row that the enemy can't answer, right? And so, but, but that's only really going to happen if you start your turn with extra dice, with stuff like Liban, right? So Liban is just always fucking no. One card that I definitely underestimated is I haven't lost yet. This shit is fucking broken, actually. Ito's card is actually broken. I don't know if it's because I was playing a, a combo deck, or if it's broken everywhere, but I feel like this shit is just fucking nuts. I think you're gonna run this in every deck. Oh, well. Oh, no. No. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not it. Okay. We're not even keeping this. This is really bad. Uh, you, you shouldn't level artifacts that have the wrong main stat, even if they're on the right, the, even if they're on the right set. Stuff like this, like, you will never use. I hope other people have enjoyed this as well. We got arm exercises, fine.